Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey. So what are we doing here? Oh, that's right. We got a wig review video. Okay now, this video is sponsored by My First Wig. So y'all already know it's gonna be a banger. Simple, easy install, cause you know how they do. <laughs> Bear with me, you know your girl be filming around midnight, so. Don't ask me why I'm demonstrating these items that comes in the box as if I'm a game show host. This is how I keep myself entertained and awake. <laughs> so I decided to try color today, girls. This is my second time trying red ever and the first time using a human hair wig. So you already know these units come pre-plugged, bleached already. Of course, there's a standard two combs in the side, one in the back. It comes with an adjustable elastic band. Now that's gonna be able to help you wear this glueless and you're gonna get a really good amount of part and space. So let's first take a look at this pre-plugged hairline. It looks pretty decent. As I said, my first wigs always comes through with the plucking. So I'm gonna just part some of this hair just to give you a good idea of, of what that part in space actually looks like. And you can get about six inches of part in from the front to the back on both sides lightly. Of course, the deeper you go on the side, the shorter the part. Now, as I mentioned, this wig is plucked pretty good. You guys could go ahead and skip this step, but if you're not new to my channel, you already know I have to pluck my units, even if just a little bit. But I've already bored you guys with that enough. You guys know what it looks like. So I'm gonna just show you the end results. So watching hair being straightened is oddly relaxing to me. So I decided to give this wig a silk press. If that's not your thing, I guess move along and miss out on all this zen the rest of us is gonna be experienced. <laughs> you know, kumbaya or whatever. So whenever I'm straightening hair, I like to use this skinny serum. It's really great on natural hair, permed hair, basically any texture type hair. It helps to get the hair pinned straight. And you guys know I like to use this hairbrush when I straighten the hair using the chase method. Now, this particular fun iron doesn't go higher than 400 degrees. However, the beauty of wearing a wig is that you could crank yours up to 450 if you want to because, you know, worst case scenario, you just get a new one. But um, don't listen to me. You know, I have wigs sent to me on a daily. So um, if you know you need your wig to last a long time, the last thing you need to do is give it heat damage. So let's just go ahead and use that iron on 400 and be patient, okay? And I'm gonna just go ahead and follow this method, straighten the hair from the back to the front, and then I'm gonna switch up and get that straightening comb, cause you know, we wanna get this laid from the scalp. And that's the beauty of using the mannequin, is that you don't have to worry about burning yourself just to get that laid look. Look at her. Oh, she is ready. Nice silk press, a beautiful color. Whew. Stiff wear, I'm loving the bounce. So uh, last step before installing the unit, you guys know I'm gonna just go ahead and cut the lace. As always, you, you can use the eyebrow razor or the scissor. It's really just a matter of preference. Um, the eyebrow razor does allow to have less of a straight cut, which helps it to blend better. And here I am in all my glory. Hey girl, hey. So let me go ahead and put this wig on. Bow, oh, 
all right i really should have did a ball cap but i was just being lazy you know it is midnight and all so yeah let's just use our imagination with this one um but as you can see this hairline is plucked perfectly so i'm gonna go ahead and lay this baby down using my got to be glued free spring you guys know this is the fastest way to apply the unit and this is a my first wig unit that honestly could be worn glueless so it doesn't require much effort to get that laid look And when I'm finished, I'm just cleaning up the edges using a damp cloth. And then I'm going to reapply my foundation to my forehead. I'm going to tie this hair down for about 5 or 10 minutes. And what I told you, she laid. She is laid. Okay. Okay. Oh. So now I'm just adding some sheen to this hair just to get that red color to pop even more. You guys know I like to add my Fit Me powder to the part. This is just going to help the part and area blend in better with my complexion. I am loving this. You guys, what do you think? Is red my color or no? Let me know, let me know. <laughs> So I don't really like to wear my hair straight. So I'm just like putting a slight, when I say a slight bump in the front, just so it's not just straight against my face. And yeah, she popping. But wait, I'm not done yet. So I decided I'm gonna just really commit to this color and I found one of my red makeup pencils and decided to shade in my eyebrows. Now, what y'all think? What y'all think? Do you like how it kinda cord? See, you got the cord. Shout out to the, the great himself. <laughs> Rest in power, Pops. Are y'all catching this slayage? Let me know. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you're feeling this color and this unit on me. You guys know my first wig is one of my favorite vendors. I'll have all of their information in the description box down below. You guys know Black Friday is coming up. You want to be sure and check them out. They're going to have some amazing sales. I'll have the coupon code across the screen as well as in the description box down below as well. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.